there's something that keeps nagging me to come back to it. And it's not an ex-girlfriend. It's something I think is worse. It's something that I've been doing since I was 12 and I still do it to this day. It honestly blows my mind because it's something I've been doing for almost 20 years. And no, it's not that dirty thought that you're thinking either. It's playing MOBAs and lately that's been League of Legends. I have a problem with this and it's games like Dota and League of Legends and it's a struggle to stop. So here's the rundown. Back in the day, back when the internet was born, one could argue, there was a game made by Blizzard. This was before it was a garbage company focused on microtransactions, so like think like Hearthstone or Overwatch skins, whatever. But they had invented some of the best online multiplayer games ever seen. StarCraft and Warcraft, just to name a few of them. Uh, they were their flagship games. Uh, with the introduction of Warcraft 3, this gives players a 3D environment to play and make their own custom games. Uh, and they would do so through the in-game custom engine. This is really rad because beforehand it was really restricted to what you could do. And it's from this single engine that the word MOBA, the, the MOBA genre was born. And that was Dota. Ice Frog, wherever you are, thank you for making one of the best game franchises ever. You're a hero. This is for those who might not be aware, the baby version or the introductory of League of Legends. Uh, so Dota was made using the in-game sprites of Warcraft 3 and its in-game engine. It was created back in 2003 with the release it was called Defense of the Ancients or Dota, a fan developed multiplayer online battle game, MOBA, uh, that was a mod for Warcraft 3. Uh, and the premise of this is that both teams had uh, five individual players where each player picked one particular hero back then they were called heroes now you hear the word champion a lot to control and each character had their own individual skill set and abilities that made them unique some of them were tanky focused on defense to take additional damage and survive some uh, were really good at damage and being quick to dish out damage quickly or be able to hit and run style gameplay or more sustained stuff like being able to take out towers or somewhere very good at uh, destroying buildings, summoning minions, pushing down waves, is being really efficient at uh, macro. But each character had their own unique aspect about them that made them original from one another. There wasn't no, or there wasn't many duplicates. Um, and what made the game complex and really interesting to play is that through it's through the combinations of these different skills of characters that would make the game. Uh, unique and fun. I mean, it, it feels amazing when you take a character and somebody that might not even be very good and you outplay people that have played their characters from multiple years in a row. And just having that rush of adrenaline going, oh, I just outplayed you. It's literally a quote, hashtag skill issue. Um, honestly, this kind of does sound like League of Legends, but it's not. Um, at the time, this game was big. Uh, so big, in fact, that it created a bunch of spinoffs. The ones people are familiar with, uh, League of Legends, Smite, some side ones. Uh, it was being rivaled with something called Heroes of New Earth, a, in my opinion, a much better Dota clone. And then something, uh, <laughs> Atlas Reactor, which is the combination of League of Legends and XCOM put together for a really fun game. Link in the description if you're curious, because that game is amazing. All of these had the basic formula. It was team versus team, player versus player, but the end goal kill the enemy base or kill enough people to win the game but dota is over 20 years old so why does league of legends strive and does the formula for this still work to this day i hate to admit this but yes league of legends still works and it's not for the reason of being a good game but it's for a few factors. Fuck!
I lost. Damn it. I hate this game. Guess I'm gonna play another one. One of the biggest factors about why this game is so easy to start up is that uh, it's accessibility. And this is something that Riot Games does very well. They make sure that these games, the ones that they make, are played on almost potentially anything. I mean, shoot, you, there's a video of a tablet being ran to play this particular game that can be run on PC. The fact that you can play a multi-click active MOBA with on a tablet where your only touch is your is the tablet itself is mind-blowing. Absolutely insane. The fact that it's free, so you don't have to worry about any cost, which most games cost $50, $60. Some of the bigger reasons, you have your competitive gameplay. It's highly competitive to play online, so you know when you enter a match, you're gonna be against people, roughly your skill level. So there's that sense of accomplishment when reaching higher ranks or you noticing your skill going up, plus the desire to improve. There's teamwork and social interactions, which uh, you can make new friends. I have personally made friends in my in my local area that I've hung out with in person to do other activities like play magic, play play Dungeons and Dragons. Nerd! One of the biggest reasons has to be the skill ceiling. What that means is. It's impossible with the constant changes and updates and added new items or added abilities and characters to perfectly master this game. You can master a character, you can master a skill, but to perfectly master this game is impossible because the game is always changing and evolving and improving. It's, it's interesting because when you play a MOBA like this, you're your primary goal to improve is to what's suggested is to pick one or two characters ones that you feel that resonate with you the most for me it happens to be talia because i just love her energetic nature and outplaying people with her is hilarious because she's a hard to play character but when you have a character pool of over 150 people or characters and this is at the time that i made this video uh, you have a complete choice to pick the persona of a character that you think resonates with you and that's awesome you want to be a large monster that runs people down and smashes their face in cool and if that's your fantasy run with it you want to be a super sexy space pirate coming up with slightly sexual innuendo puns and watch people get blown up as you press a giant ultimate of death cool you want to you want to be a super badass battle mage that teleports around the arena and outplays people by repositioning yourself cool a lot there and if there's a particular theme or niche that a character has for you to resonate with it's probably there this game has so much stuff and complexity that it's truly imp it's impossible in an individual lifetime to experience everything and because of these reasons, it naturally has like appeals to people to come back to it. I have taken breaks and have stopped playing MOBAs completely for years and then to be reintroduced to all these new changes and want to play more. I hate that feeling, but it's great at the same time because I get the chance to replay and relive my experiences as a child, as a teenager, as an adult now. and that it's that nostalgia that hits you this game in a sense is nostalgic because if you look at the player base now most people are ones that have played this game for the past they're in their late 20s i mean yeah you have newer players now but i mean it's competing against stuff like fortnite which is another moba or or other online battle games gang beast is another example but something like this if you've been playing it and you got into the game which has a reasonably difficult startup you're invested in that and MOBAs like this are in a sense a time capsule of the pre-era of what Blizzard used to be with that League of Legends matters because it's a time capsule of a generation of games when online environments were relatively brand new Without League of Legends, MOBAs most likely wouldn't be surviving in this environment. Hey there, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a video essay of why League of Legends matters 
why Dota doesn't matter, why MOBA doesn't matter. And if you like the content, let me know, leave a comment. Feedback's always supported. Um, it just gives me more motivation to make videos and to know that I'm doing an okay job entertaining you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you and uh, have a good night. Bye.